Um, um, so this is graphs uh, in the context of, of metric spaces. We might might take another look at them later outside of the context of, of metric spaces. Uh, I mean, uh, graphs. So the only the only uh, uh, example that I, 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 I brought up for graphs, where they come from, is is literally literally networks. So uh, cities, and uh, if they're connected directly by, uh, say, a freeway, then there is there you you, you you put an edge between them, and then uh, and then maybe if you go to the next uh, level, you add a number to it indi to indicate the, the distance. Okay. Uh, another one is is the networks and the computers or or sites being connected to each other by links, for example. That's another one. Uh, but you can probably think of other things uh, such as relations. Uh, so people in their family relations. So if they're related, well, put an edge between them. And once again, you could try to uh, 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 introduce a distance to that to that relation. So, for example, if you directly connect it to a person, uh, like maybe the sibling, then you put a one there, and then and then you you have a degrees of of relationships uh, measured in that way, in that manner. Okay, or what is that? Uh, that what was that game six degrees of Kevin Bacon remember that game right so so uh, okay so uh, how to get from one actor to another actor or actress is uh, through other uh, other uh, uh, through the movie the movies they they uh, start to <coughs> together okay so anybody knows everybody knows what that that is that game well now nowadays there are apps probably <laughs> You just click, click twice, and you, you have you have a connection. Nobody, nobody heard of this game. Well, it's it's some back in the nineties, obviously. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. Um, you so the uh, uh, so without the internet to help you, you supposed to you supposed to uh, yeah, some one person names an actor, an actress, and the other person is supposed to link them to Kevin Bacon through movies that they. Uh, acted in together. I don't know. I don't know. Kim Basinger, how do you get to Kevin Bacon? Kim ba Basinger was in Batman with uh, Jack Nicholson, who was in A Few Good Men with Kevin Bacon. Okay, two steps. Like that. Okay, so incidentally, so uh, so if you understand that uh, what the solution is, then uh, then the question really becomes if you want to make it mathematical what are the uh, what are the what is the set so remember the uh, uh, the uh, uh, a graph is a set to begin with so what is the set here the set is uh, all actors and actresses okay so and then we uh, put an edge between them if they are um, if they are in the same uh, movie together. So, so in a sense, those edges are movies. Okay, and you can you can certainly flip them to uh, movies. Uh, uh, sets uh, are are the uh, nodes and uh, and and uh, actresses and actors are the edges. So anyway, uh, the variety of, of applications of, of um, uh, graphs is certainly high. And uh, if uh, if you weigh the old graph with nothing but ones, that is the Number of degrees of separation. Okay, so uh, okay, so the, we we got the definition right here, uh, the definition of a graph right right here, or one of the definitions. Uh, it is the first is set, which could be finite or infinite, and um, uh, and then the uh, the set of edges. Where does it come from? It is any subset of of the uh, Cartesian product of f x with itself. Uh, which is uh, uh, with that, uh, that extra property over there. So uh, that, that table over there um, gives you the uh, uh, x cross x uh, uh, set, so a uh, set of pairs of, uh, of elements of, of x with, uh, paired up with, uh, with itself. So, uh, so this, if you, um, if you take the whole table over there, ignore those crosses, uh, the, uh, each, each entry in this table is A, 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 B, B, A, C, and so on. So these are pairs of uh, uh, ordered pairs of, uh, of uh, elements of X. Okay, so then uh, whether if you put a cross there, it means that that set belongs to, uh, is one of the edges. 
if the edges is present. If there is no cross there, it means that there is no edge there. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so okay. So that's the graph. So um, uh, let's move on to um, uh, what is a weighted graph. is a graph to begin with. So x, e, just as all the time, pairs frequently is what we're looking at. So in this particular case, a set and a, a, a set of edges. That's what the pair is. A set and a, a pair, a, pair uh, a set of, <coughs> of edges as a subset of x cross x. Um, OK, so, so that is the uh, uh, kind of uh, mathematical ability that uh, takes a while to develop, but is the actually being able to define things mathematically. Okay, so uh, starting with a bunch of examples, you figure out what, uh, what they have in common, and you provide a definition which include all of them in some reasonable way. So that's, we did that with the graph. What about the weighted graph? You can see the picture right there. It's an example of a weighted graph. We had also examples of weighted graph as well. What is the definition of a weighted graph? It's a graph with what? What? With numbers associated with the edges. Numbers associated with the edges. Okay, can you... What are we talking about? Numbers, how do you associate numbers with anything? There's a word for it. Yes. What? No. In other words, assign. Assign numbers to anything, so... Well, no, there is a word for it, not a, a verb, a noun. What is it? Something that assigns numbers to, to things. Functions. Yes. Yes, functions. It is a function. So, so let's use the word, the right word that we have been using, uh, and it is the mathematical uh, word that is we, we understand well. Uh, if it is a function, let's just say it's a function rather than uh, using the language that might be, I mean, it's kind of a, um, more color colorful, I suppose, but uh, um, uh, if you want to explain it, you use the colorful la language, but, but uh, uh, definition has to be precise and we're using, relying as much as possible on things that we have defined previously. So if we define sets to begin with, see, a set, a graph is defined as a set and the subset and the uh, Cartesian and product over there, so familiar things that have been defined previously, and we rely on them and only them. So we, we, we so if we are have we know what functions are, we have a function. So a function w, okay, what is the what is the domain of this function? What? No, what you do, 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 remember what you said, we assign numbers to what? Square all the right? No. No, look at the picture. Two edges. Two edges. Okay, so then the edges is the domain of the function. Okay? And uh, the codomain, the range, whatever, what is it? Assign, it, it is just a matter of translating your description into mathematical language. So assigning numbers to edges. Well, that's turn it around. Uh, every edge is, is associated with a number. So that's, that's the reals here. Okay, if you, if you want to be, uh, uh, really speak of, of weighted graph, then I would probably add a plus here. Uh, remember what that indicates, that the negative numbers are not allowed. I mean, the, under certain circumstances, you can think of, of a weights where that could be negative, but let's keep it simple, and so we, we say just that all the weights are, are positive <coughs> for zeros, and in fact, you might, uh, you might uh, 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 impose extra conditions, but let's just keep it, uh, keep it simple, and then we'll uh, deal with, the, uh, with uh, what kind of weighted graph this is uh, when we get to the 
uh, to the um, uh, uh, to to the uh, to the metric space. But first, there is one condition that we do need absolutely to mention, because the uh, uh, that if we carefully look at where we are in the uh, what edges uh, stand for as a subset of the x of x plus x, like I said, they're uh, ordered pairs. Uh, they ordered pairs. So, for example, over here is is I have uh, this one is C A, and this is one A C. We make sure that there is an edge. It doesn't matter from C A to A C, or from C to A or A to C. It's the same thing. But then we have to make sure that we have the same understanding with the uh, with the, with the uh, with the weights. So then these two should have the same weight. Okay. So edges are might be o o uh, oriented with arrows, and so that would be, we would be speaking of uh, an oriented graph. So it's not an edge between A and B, but rather from A to B, and could be separate from B to A. We, we, so we, we are not doing that. So the only requirement that I have is uh, WAB is equal to uh, WBA for all AB uh, among the edges. Okay, so that's the only thing that I want to require. Okay, so um, so then extra extra requirements. Uh, let's let not make them a part of the definition, but let's let's require things uh, as we are um, um, moving towards um, making this into a metric space. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna need a few a few properties and. Um, uh, we haven't identified what uh, metric is yet. The weight is a weight, not, it's not the same as a metric. Uh, extra conditions there might be required, <coughs> and uh, uh, we just go through through axioms. So uh, the axioms, so, so uh, uh, axiom number one, well certainly weights will be distances. Um, weights are distances, right? <coughs> yes, but are distances weights. Are distances weights? We haven't defi defined distances yet, so so can we uh, use just nothing but weights in order to define distances? Do you see the difference between weights and, and distances? So this is the uh, weighted graph. Okay, so so we certainly would like to use the the weights as as distances, but 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 what? What about this one? What about what about that 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 non-existent edge? There is no edge there, and there is no weight. If there is no edge, there is no weight. So, what is the distance? Yeah, it will be, yeah, so, right, so it will be the, the shortest distance, right? So that, that, that's the main idea here, how to convert a weighted graph into a metric space, is uh, to, uh, to take the minimal distance between, minimal uh, uh, distance between, between two, two, two uh, nodes uh, uh, as, as the sum of, of, uh, of those weights, okay? So uh, that is the very general idea. Uh, so in this particular case, it appears to be what? What's the distance here? Not the weight. So weights, weight are given. So what is in black is the weighted graph that is given to us. Okay, but uh, if we remember, they remember the, dis the, the difference. The difference, di difference is, uh, distance is, um, the, the distance formula is, 
x cross x to uh, r's. Okay, so uh, you see the difference. The well, it's right here. Uh, this is the difference. This is the weight from the edges to r plus, and here for from uh, from uh, from x cross x to r plus. Okay, so what is the difference? Uh, the difference is is right here. And in fact, as a matter of fact, the difference is. Uh, Well, it's, it's here. Um, e is a subset of x cross x, but it's not the whole thing. So there might be pairs of nodes with no edges between them, which means that there is no distance to be read off the uh, distance formula. Okay. That's what picture on the right is supposed to illustrate, that uh, uh, like E is a subset of X cross X, but possibly E is not equal to X cross X. Okay, just just this example is uh, is not it. Uh, we, and that is the, the deficiency that we have to fill. Okay, so so in other words, uh, there is a there is a two. There are always like like these. This may, these may be a b c d e two. So uh, in this particular example, uh, let me write it out. So uh, x is a b c d. Okay, uh, the edges are a b, which is same as b a. C, uh, what? A, B, C, D, and E. E. Okay. So, um, <coughs> okay, so uh, A, B, B, A, uh, B, C, C, A, C, B, C, D, D, C, C, E, E, C, and finally, D, E, E, D. Okay, so these are the edges. In fact, uh, you could count these twice if you like, and you, you, you could. Uh, it, it, it's perfectly logical, in fact. Uh, so have one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. So 10 uh, edges. Okay, 10 edges while uh, X cross X is, in fact, uh, uh, has... Uh, uh, 20, uh, whatever it's 20, 25 uh, uh, entries. So, uh, so in a, in particular, say uh, A E does not belong to E. Okay, then what is the distance between A and E? Okay, so there is no weight for it. Uh, and so we cannot uh, we cannot then uh, define it. So uh, uh, the idea is uh, choose uh, the the minimum minimum. But what what that means is is remains to be uh, explained. Once again, we have to define it in a mathematical sense, very in a very strict way. Okay, so the idea is there. Uh, let me once again illustrate it. How, how do I get? Uh, the answer is uh, the answer is uh, four, right? The answer is four here. Why? Because there is a uh, there is a trip, this trip, that uh, you're gonna get from A to E uh, with a total weight of of these uh, uh, edges, uh, giving you four. Okay, one, two, and one. <coughs> distance a e is to be defined uh, 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4 okay so that is the idea that is based on the example any question about what it means so uh, as you can see there is another one or you can probably think of more 
So uh, if I take the other route, uh, then I'll have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5, which is larger. Okay, so that's not, that's not good. Um, uh, so uh, so and we, pick, we pick the smaller one, uh, even though that's certainly not the only route that you can take. You can, you can actually go back and forth. You can go, go in circles, and they, you can, they will be larger and larger. So, so, uh, so the idea is, is really uh, on, on, on this surface, seemingly, uh, the challenge is actually to make it mathematical. So how do we define it? So we have this vague idea of a minimum of, 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 of what? Of, of four different routes. Um, so then to define it appropriately, uh, you'd have to have those routes given to you to begin with. So let's define what that route is. <coughs> can, you, can you define a route? So you have a, you have a graph. So suppose um, x, e is a graph. So define, and then, then there are two points, a, b belongs to x. Define, uh, define, well, define a path. How about route, maybe? How about a path <coughs> between a and b? So, I mean, when you're reading mathematical books, you, you will be given a definition. That's, that, that's to be expected, but it is actually a skill that uh, you can start developing as well. Um, it is the, the ability to write your own definitions. So, what does it mean to have, what is a path? <coughs> From A to B. Picture is there. I have uh, uh, you got two two examples of paths. Um, can you define it? Areas of nodes and distances. Well, let's drop sequences for. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Um, um, weights from from the consideration. Let's just say we have a graph without weights. Then, then weights are, uh, uh, are on top of the, gra of the graph, okay? So uh, that, that path exists in a graph where, whether it is weighted or not. So let's, let's forget about the, uh, uh, the, um, uh, the weights and the distances for now. We just, we just have a graph, and, and we're doing the Kevin Bacon thing. Just any path, uh, it works. So just strip it off all the details that are not relevant right now and, and have a, a task that is the simplest for us. So there is a, there is a graph, nothing on it, and uh, we just want to define a path uh, between A and B, or from A to B, same thing, pretty much. So, so uh, the word that you used was, I said a, uh, you said a series, did you say? Sequence. sequence series, sequence, all, all good, 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 those are good terms. Um, so, so is a path, well, that's called P. So P is a sequence of what? <coughs> uh, specifically um, nodes or vertices of the, uh, of the graph. So we are not on the plane, we're not moving through Euclidean space or anything like that. We can only move from node to node of, of the graph. And those nodes are, by the way, are, all belong to x. So, so in other words, we have <coughs> x1, x2, <coughs> xn, they all belong to x. So remember, once again, it's a pair. x is the set. And then we, and then there are edges. Okay, so, okay, so, pa, uh, p uh, path is a sequence of uh, nodes of the graph. Okay, suppose n of them. Okay, and then is that it? Okay, so uh, they connect a and b. Good. 
Can you be more specific based on what I have here? So I use words and then I try to explain what, what, what they mean. So connect A and B, what does it mean? What? No, no, you, you are, you're skipping. Let's just explain this, this sentence. Uh, they, uh, they, or it, it, or this sequence, not pro probably not they, but rather it, uh, connects uh, it, the sequence. It connects uh, H, A, and B. So what does it mean for, for vertices, our nodes of the graph X1 through Xn, to connect A and B? Well, the, the connect may, may be, it is, simply means that it starts at A and ends at B, or vice versa. So in other words, x1 is A, xn is B. That's all. And now, indeed, we're moving on and uh, trying to explain what, what it means to actually to connect. Where is the connect? Uh, uh, this really doesn't, expl it doesn't, the word connect isn't really, hasn't been taken care of. Uh, and that's hence the concern. Uh, we, we were only, to, to only able to explain that is indeed the curve that starts at A and a ends at B, but what makes it a kind of a curve? Why do we use the word connect? That's where the edges uh, come into play. So I say it is a connected curve. That's what you expect from a path. So we have to explain it once again in terms of all these nodes. So, nodes and edges. So, the, the, what, what are the edges? What allows us to move from x1 to x2? An edge. Otherwise, you, there is the, are, otherwise, these points are arbitrary. If there is no a re restriction on the uh, on our uh, choice of, of vertices that sequence uh, the uh, then uh, um, so a series of edges makes up an edge the, the, that's right uh, not and uh, they don't make up an edge uh, they are they are, exist separately uh, so in other words this is um, x1 x2 is an edge <coughs> x2 x3 is an edge xn minus 1, xn is also an edge. Okay? So it is a sequence of vertices, starts in A, ends in B, and not only that, there are edges in that, sequ in that sequence. Okay, so, so words, at, the, at this point you can skip the words and, and concentrate on what, uh, what has been written you know, mathematically. So this is the, 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 the actual definition of a path or uh, edge path, another way to put it. Uh, you remember paths. You remember paths, so, so why we use the same language. It's the same language as of Calculus 3. You remember uh, paths in, in Calculus 3, right? So uh, on the plane, it is a continuous curve. So this one is not exactly a continuous curve in, because there is nothing in between. There is no uh, anything located there, two consecutive points, as we put x1, x2. But there, there are no other points between them. Okay? There, there, is, there, there is no... Um, the edge is... Uh, what is it? It is, an, it is an abstraction. It's not a literal edge. Um, because these, these uh, uh, points, so-called points, that's why I don't, don't like to use points for x1, xn, uh, because they suggest that they are located somewhere, and they are not necessarily. So you could have, remember these uh, nodes, vertices, could be objects, could be people, could be movies, actors, could be cities. Uh, they are not necessarily located in some geographic uh, space, or Euclidean space, any kind of space. We are building a space right now. Uh, we are moving in that direction. Uh, but the, okay, so this is the path. Uh, that's what the path is. Uh, that the picture. So so there might be others, you know, other edges, other points. Doesn't matter. We picked one out of infinite, possible infinitely many. Okay, because because you you, you can build infinitely many. You can uh, go uh, two. If, even if you have two uh, um, adjacent uh, points or vertices, then you can go like this on and on and on, and it will be a path 
Okay, so so there are always infinitely many edges, infinitely many paths, as long as at least there is at least one edge. There is also also possibility, another possibility. So to uh, to be remembered. So would that be like two actors? <coughs> two same actors in uh, the uh, more than one path between those two. It means that the uh, there is a movie. So edge is a movie. They are war in together. Yeah, so uh, so it doesn't fit exactly, and in some in some we picked the simplest definition of a of a graph when there is only one uh, edge between a between two uh, nodes, but uh, there are other other applications. So so they are with multiple edges. Uh, if there are multiple edges, the this neat uh, explanation that I have over here that uh, edges uh, is nothing but a subset of the, of x cross x, a very simple definition, so we can simply have a table like this. Okay, so uh, A, B, there is, a, a, imagine that there are uh, more than one path from A to B, then that table won't work anymore. So that, that in that sense, it, it's a simpler a way to define the graph. Um, so, uh, so then, yeah, so, so the correspondence between, between movies and then in edges of such a graph would not be very direct. Um, uh, well, we'll pick just one that is uh, the, the easiest one to handle. Uh, the things that, that are interesting here uh, are in, in graph theory comes up is uh, even before you get to what we uh, really care about, what if, uh, what if there isn't? There is no path from A to B. It is possible. So... Um, it is probably possible even uh, for actors, actresses to have a similar situation, uh, <coughs> even though it is, seems, uh, seems unlikely, but uh, it's possible. Um, uh, it is possible uh, because, um, well, for, first of all, what, what is that concept from, from calculus that uh, this, is, uh, this is referring to? There is no path from point A to point B. Remember the word for it? You say no path. There is no path, right. Not continuous. No, 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 not continuous. There is a similar word, connected. So in calculus 3, that does come up. Uh, connected uh, sets and disconnected sets. <coughs> and so that they, how they are they defined, that's exactly like that. There is a path between any two points. Then it is is called connected or path connected, uh, and otherwise it's called disconnected. And so some things in calculus assume that uh, what you're dealing with, especially the domain of functions that you're dealing with, is, is path connected. Otherwise, things simply uh, fall apart. So yeah, the numbers are connected then. Uh, but uh, but uh, the, you, you imagine, uh, for example, well, the, the, when the domain of a function is connected, such as one over x, okay, then there is a hole in the in the middle. That that's a crucial uh, a crucial fact that uh, the function is undefined is zero. And then it is like uh, you have calculus separately for positive axes, and you have separate calculus for the negative axes. Because why? Because the, you cannot jump from one to the next. Okay, so like I said, it's y equal 1 over x, and there is a hole here. It is literally, you break calculus into two pieces because, well, it is disconnected. And uh, then uh, uh, in calculus 3, it also comes up in a more complex, uh, in a more complex way. Um, what is it? So, so that it is a topological issue, and we are talking about topology, so, so it's uh, wor worth mentioning uh, that connectivity uh, is, is crucial. So uh, if not... Uh, uh, it's called um, <coughs> disconnected. Uh, the the graph is called connected when there is a path between any two points. It's called disconnected when there isn't. It, it totally mimics the uh, the topology as it is considered in calculus. Okay, so except even though the everything is discrete, there is no Euclidean space here. Okay, so, uh, all right, so that certainly is, is something to, uh, to think about uh, uh, later, uh, but we are, we, are ha we are aiming at a, a different direction. We're still trying to define the, uh, the distance 
we try to define the distance, and we uh, this was just a stepping stone to define a path. We know what the path is now, and uh, and now we are we are uh, we are ready to define. Okay, so uh, so the given uh, weighted graph. So I will put it like this: uh, x, e, and o, and, and w. So x is the set, e is the set of edges, and w is our function, the weight. Okay, so then define the distance on x, which means that there is a function from x cross x, x to the reals that's supposed to, and that's to be verified, uh, and satisfy, satisfy those uh, three axioms. <coughs> okay, so, but we, before we discuss the axioms, uh, uh, let's define the, uh, the distance. Um, <coughs> okay, so what's the distance? How would you find the distance? There is, there, the idea is the minimum, minimum of total weights over all possible paths from A to B. So we just need to put it in a kind of a formula, mathematical way. Minimum of what? Yeah. Sum of, no, not of x, but of omega. Of, of not omega. It's not omega. It's, it's a w. Okay, w of what? Or the definition of a path is right there. So, so we're gonna minimize uh, the total sum of weights over all the paths. <coughs> okay. So I'll just write it x one. Uh, so how about x k x k plus one. Okay, so that is uh, the uh, weight of that edge. Okay, k from one to n. Okay, uh, over so minimization over all paths x one x n from a to b. That that's the whole definition. The sum of weights of the edges of each path are from a, a, a from A to B. That's the idea that we had. Uh, it is exactly what's written. We the only missing part was the path. We defined the path. Now we have the definition. Uh, the definition on its surface makes sense because uh, it is uh, um, uh, it is uh, it is just a number. So you minimize numbers. In there, all the numbers are positive. So that minimum should exist. So what can go wrong? in this minimization, however. So even though these are numbers, what can go wrong? <coughs> when you define something, uh, you have to make sure that it is defined, or at least you have to um, indicate what, 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 when it is, everything works out and when it might not. Well, we already, I already point out one possible problem. What? If it is disconnected. So, uh, the graph is disconnected. Okay, then this definition doesn't apply because the minimum over an empty set, no such thing. <coughs> okay, so minimum of a set that of numbers that is empty. What is the minimum? It is meaningless. Okay, so so it means that we have to require. <coughs> Uh, we have to require that uh, for this to make sense, we will have to require uh, the uh, graph to be connected to begin with. Okay, so so now moving on to, to the axioms. So it seems that uh, if our graph is connected, weights are provided, uh, then uh, uh, what, uh, what, what might be, now no, we have to look at the, uh, at the axioms. Um, Uh, okay, so axioms. 
So our number one axiom, remember uh, d a b uh, is larger than or equal to zero. That's okay. That's by definition we have made sure that it is the case. This one is trickier. <coughs> Uh, that the distance is zero if and only if uh, a is equal to b. So once again, uh, does it match our definition? So think about paths. Now we're talking about paths between two points. Can they add up to, uh, to zero? How do we make sure that they add up to zero only when it is the same point? What? Uh, right, but the, the zero. Right, they cannot, but zeros, if they are, there are zeros there, then it still might happen that you will have zero altogether. So we have to require, we have to require <laughs> that uh, the, uh, the weight, we have to have pretty much the same the same idea that the weight between uh, two uh, points, uh, uh, or rather the weight of any, of any edge, uh, is zero if and only if the, it is the same, the same vertex. We have to require. That's, that's a requirement for the, uh, from, uh, from the weights. <coughs> Otherwise, we cannot build our metric. <coughs> So as you can see, then we do need uh, what we needed for it, for this to work out. Not only every edge that is present has to have a number assigned to it that is not <coughs> equal to zero. So none of these can be equal to zero. But there is only one thing that is missing for us to, for this to work out. They all have to have this, the uh, edge to itself, uh, an edge of a, of a vertex to itself. The the graph that I I built here, remember. This, this is the table. Uh, see the diagonal? The question was, do we put anything there uh, over here in order to, and it seemed like we, we don't need to, but uh, in order for us to build um, uh, the, the uh, metric space, we have to have, we have to, every node to be connected to itself. Okay, but how? The weight should be zero. Then it works out. So we require the and indeed so the uh, the the weight uh, a b is equal to zero only if uh, a is equal to b otherwise they are all positive okay so that is uh, works out number two distance uh, a b is equal to distance b a um, might be might seem obvious it is obvious but it still um, it is a good a good exercise to provide an argument. Provide an argument why from A to B is uh, distance from A to B is the same as from B to A, uh, based on the on this on our definition right here. This is our definition. There is nothing else, and uh, uh, you have to point out why why it is the same. Can you point it out? No, well, uh, let's see. No, it, the actually paths <coughs> from A to B are the same as from B to A. Uh, they are just kind of, uh, um, they are listed differently. So as you can see here, where is my path, definition of path. Here, a path from A to B. I start at A and add at B. But ultimately, it is a sequence of, of nodes, and I can just reverse the order, and I will have a path from B to A from the same list and their edges will still be there because it's all reversible. Remember, if A, B is, in the, in the, uh, is an edge, then B, A is too. Okay, so that, that's why we can reverse, reverse them. And, uh, and the weights are the same, going back on forth uh, the same notes. It is just these words that are easy to say, but it's, it's actually uh, a good exercise uh, to, um, to write it out. <coughs> okay, the... Uh, the more challenging is, in fact, the third one, also kind of obvious. If you um, just looking at the picture, a lot of things are obvious or seem obvious when you look at the picture, but um, writing them up is a challenge. It's a skill that um, converting those ideas, uh, visual ideas especially, into, into, into mathematics is, um, is a challenge. 
Okay, so that's my third uh, axiom, the triangle inequality. The picture, once again, look at it. This is my A, and I have through some edges, I arrive to B, and then uh, uh, I start a new sequence of edges. I arrive to C, and then I take the th start the third sequence of edges, and I arrive back to A. Okay? So, uh, and what I'm saying is the, the purple uh, sequence of weights plus the uh, orange uh, uh, sequence of weights will be larger than or equal to, well, that, that's, it, it, that's not what I'm saying. Um, no, that, that's what I'm saying, yes. Um, um, uh, the, 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 pro the problem with this, what, what the picture cannot capture is the minimum. Because just having, uh, pointing out one, uh, one uh, path from A to B, 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 C, and A, C is not enough for us to, uh, to demonstrate the, uh, the inequality between, between the distances. The distance is not uh, uh, for any given path. It's over all paths, remember, the definition is the biggest one, uh, the, the shortest one, rather, in that sense. Uh, the sum is the lowest. Okay? So, uh, so how do we prove that this is the case? Once again, I try to make a picture that is as confusing as possible. So it does not look like a triangle. This is still a triangle inequality is called, but that certainly doesn't look like a triangle. Um, from A to B, from B to C, and from T, wait a minute, uh, from A to B, from B to C, and from T C to A. Okay, so can you make an argument? Uh, B would have to be on the minimum path from A to C for it to be equal. That's, that, that, that's pretty much the idea, yes. So uh, anywhere else it's lower. even in, anywhere else it will be higher. Uh, that, that's roughly what the argument uh, is supposed to uh, to happen, so same because we are out of time. Okay.